John William Waterhouse, 1849-1917, was an English Pre-Raphaelite painter who drew inspiration from biblical and mythological subjects, ancient English legends, and chivalric novels. The main heroines of his paintings are beautiful women with influence and power, but at the same time desirable, alluring, and sensual. An ideal example, Cleopatra, Ophelia, Psyche. Not always they existed in reality, Waterhouse willingly wrote sorceresses and mythical heroines, the plots of his paintings were often dramatic, but at the same time and calm and peaceful, without excessive expression. The main thing, aesthetics and beauty, admiration for strong women, their ability to overcome circumstances and not lose face. Waterhouse achieved success and wealth during his lifetime, his work was very much in demand, and now his paintings are very expensive and every year only increase in value. John Waterhouse's parents were artists, so from early childhood he studied painting and familiarized himself with the outstanding paintings of the old masters. The good thing lived in five minutes' walk from the art museum. A lot of work with his father, comprehending all the artistic wisdom. Therefore, and questions about the future of John did not arise only painting. When he was 21 years old, he entered the Royal Academy of Arts, some time in his youth imitated the then popular artist Frederick Layton, but gradually came to his own style in painting. His first serious work, Sleep and His Half-Brother Death. The painting immediately became very popular, the young artist was talked about, his work was admired. All the features of the artist's work were their mythical, very bright and interesting characters, deep symbolism, virtuoso performance. Married Waterhouse, quite late at the age of 34, his chosen one was the artist Esther Kenworthy. True, the couple was not lucky with children, they died in infancy, child mortality even at that time was high, good earnings, and the ability to use the services of good doctors decided not everything. The best paintings Waterhouse embodied in the canvas of ancient myths, and his heroines were very popular in Victorian England where women actively fought for equality with men and for the first time had the opportunity to vote and go to the polls. The most famous painting of the artist Lady of Shalott. Waterhouse took as a basis the poem The Enchantress of Shalott. According to its plot, the girl Elaine was under the oppression of a curse, she cannot leave the castle of Shalott, even in the window it is forbidden to look. But she has a magic mirror that shows all the wonders of the world. Elaine admires them and embroiders tapestries, trying to embody what she has seen. One day she saw the knight Lancelot in the magic mirror, fell in love with him and decided to see her lover, no matter what it cost her. The curse has come true, the mirror has cracked, the tapestry has decayed only death awaits the girl in love. But she runs to the river, gets into a boat, and sets off on her last journey to the knight's castle. It is this moment that Waterhouse captured. The painting is full of hidden meanings. The girl is ready to die, this is clearly hinted at by the three candles on the bow of the boat, two of which are extinguished. The boat is a symbol of the coffin, on which the tapestry she cherished so much is carelessly laid. But it was all in vain, real life is far more interesting than invented mirages. It is only a pity that it turned out to be so short and tragic. Waterhouse's work was in demand during the artist's lifetime, but when he died of illness, he was forgotten. The avant-garde and Art Nouveau were in vogue, and the paintings of the Pre-Raphaelites seemed hopelessly archaic. But gradually the works of the artist again became in demand, which proves that true beauty and good taste will never become obsolete.